I was out in this beautiful day um, enjoying the fall and doing some YouTube videos and I felt I needed to share something before I headed um, back to my car. And I just wanted to talk about what it's like to follow the promptings. I, a lot of you know that I was in Colorado a few, um, about a month ago, and I had an Uber driver pick me up to take me to the airport. And I'm gonna show this to you. Uh, is, um, he's not on social media. There was something different about him that I knew he was a member of the church. And the last couple of weeks, but he became inactive. He became inactive because he felt that he, it wasn't for him. And after he became inactive, he was scheduled to have his endowment about a year ago. And the night before, Satan came after him, started questioning his self-worth and he started to do things that wouldn't qualify him to enter the house of the Lord. So he's been working with the stake president. So let me back up a little bit. He became inactive in his, when he was 20, he stopped going to church, never went on a mission. And that's his biggest regret because it's been almost 15 years. And he's getting ready to go to have his endowment in March. And I kept getting this prompting. Call him and tell him you want to be there for that special day if he would allow it. And this is what he said to me. I was praying that you would come. I would like to ask you to be my escort, my guide. I have never had that blessing of being a guide for somebody. So with that being said, when the temple opens up in Connecticut, it's closed until the 28th of this month. I am going to go three times a week. I set myself that goal, go to the temple three times a week to prepare yourself to be a guide. This to me is a huge blessing. Because people usually ask their, their dad or their mom. I never thought anybody would ask me. Never thought of it. Never even thought of it. The thought never even crossed my mind. But that's how Heavenly Father works. When you don't expect things, they happen. And that's my little simple message for today. I say that as my testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you for listening. And for those who are just tuning in, I'll show you his picture again. There he is. You can see he's got that glow. That was taken at the Colorado Denver Airport in um, September, on September 15th and we've remained in touch and I am humbly grateful to be able to fly out to be his guide his, his, to walk him through his living blessings so thank you for tuning in for this I'm going to get to your comments. 
and do my little waves here. As you know, I, I don't like to let your comments go unread. Oh, my friend Books and Birds is on. You have been in my prayers. Did you get your um, patriarch, or not patriarch, did you get your comfort blessing? Did you reach out? and get your accountability partner that we talked about last Saturday. You have been in my prayers. Uh, let's see, what other comments do we have? Um, hello everybody, I'm waving to you. Oops, I almost blocked you, sorry. <laughs> oh boy. My friend Colleen in Southern California said Satan is real and tries to distract us. Oh yeah, he does. He does. Colleen and I were thinking about doing um, Book of Mormon scripture reading or Bible scripture reading live together. And I've been praying about it. And I don't know. I'm kind of, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I'm so busy. Um, I have to, I think I need to make time for it. Even if it's just once a month, I think we need to do that. Because these are kind of like impromptu things that I do. It's kind of hard for me to schedule stuff. <laughs> Other elders need me or things get in the way. Um, a friend of mine also suggested that I do a podcast called Visitors Welcomed. And I said, well, you know, it could be doable if we could keep it in under 15 minutes. And we record once a month. So we record like four or five episodes a month. And he is a professional at that. So I'm thinking about that too. Hey, Lori, it's good to see you. Our friend Marie says the adversary is strong, but God is stronger. Yes, he uses us to help others break free, just like you did there. How wonderful. And I think that's why I was getting for the past couple of weeks, this strong prompting to reach out to him and ask him if it would be okay if I could attend his living endowment. And when he asked me to be his escort, I was like floored because he was praying for it. DJ, you're awesome. Thank you for your comment. My friend Colleen said, love being in the temple. Oh, my friend Paul is on. Hey, how are you? My friend, he's a convert, lives in Boston. We've never met. We follow each other on Instagram. Paul, you're awesome. And he goes, oh, that's beautiful. You have a gift from God. He felt it. Well, brother, you do too. Will you text my iPhone so we can make a date to get together? I would love to come to Boston and meet you before it gets too cold. <laughs> uh, let's make that happen, brother. Colleen, I'm going to send you a video I love in the temple. Aw, you're awesome. My friend Lori goes, it's an awesome time being a guide. Come up to Boston next week. Yeah, I was thinking about coming up to Boston, but I, I just, um, I'm actually going into the office where I work. Um, it's been my first time there since I started, which was, <laughs> uh, I started March, 2020. I'm a literary agent. For those of you who don't know, and I represent Christian authors, and we have an office about an hour south of where I am in Milford, Connecticut. It's about 40 minutes. So I told uh, my boss, who's the owner and the head agent, I would come in for uh, next week because I feel I can learn a lot from her. Anyway, um, our friend... C-O-R-I-N says, that's so special. You are an inspiration to all. Following promptings is so important. And as a returning member that went through the temple last December, it's so special. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. And Paul, um, when we talk, I want to ask you if you've had your endowment and if you've been to the temple. Because I know you were baptized, uh, probably it was in 2019, I think. Um, yes, temple are, temples are great. Colleen, yes, there are no accidents. 
Ben.Wilson85. Hello, brother. I had been meaning to text you, too. I'm just too... I'm just... I can't manage my text. Um, I felt so bad I didn't get to meet up with you when I was in Utah. But next time, I promise. Ben.Wilson says, It's great that you are a great friend to so many. Well, you're one of them, my friend. Don't forget that. And Books and Birds said... That's awesome, Dennis. But you still haven't answered my question. Did you get your comfort blessing that um, you you wanted? I want to make sure that happened. Ben.Wilson85. It's, it's awesome that you are such a great friend to so many, Dennis. It is. But I got to say, it's hard to keep up with everything because it just gets to be a lot. But it's good. If I'm meant to be somewhere... God will make it happen. God will make it happen. I can testify to that. Jim underscore happy is happy. Because of, I carried my scriptures today because of you. Alma 37, um, chapter 37, verse 6 and 7. Small and simple things are great things brought to pass. Amen. Amen to that. So, books and birds. Thank you, Dennis. Yeah, um, I have felt your prayers. I was able to arrange. Yes, yes, you were able to get a comfort blessing. That is awesome. It's exactly what I needed to hear. Well, you can also thank our friend Jim, because he was instrumental in, in saying that. My friend Carrie says, thank you for your bright, shining testimony. I brought, bought your book last week, and I'm so excited to read it. Well, I'm so excited for you to read it, too. Thank you. Um, for now, you can read the almost 200 reviews on Amazon. <laughs> and that's, um, or you can, um, it, the Kindle version is unlimited, if you have Kindle Unlimited. Uh, but the best gift you can give an author is an honest review on Deseret in Amazon in any other site you feel that you want to share it. My friend Karen said, missed the start of this. It says Colorado Temple on top. Yes, I did. I already um, finished it, but I will upload it to YouTube, my friend, like I always do. And you can watch it on there because it was a great story. I th think people really felt the, um, the blessings. Uh, my friend Lori, getting closer to house moving, but need temple for its peeps. Yes, you do. My friend R-E-B-W-A-Y says, praying hands, always good to hear your stories of faith. Well, thank you. Um, and Lori, I can't go on Wednesday. I'm sorry, sister. Uh, Karen said, it's so wonderful to have many temples everywhere no excuse to not attend often. You are right. But there are several people that go to um, the temple. There are those who um, oh, my legs falling asleep. Um, there were those who, you know, I'm going to turn this around because I want you to see this beautiful view here. So I'm going to turn this around so you can see. What do I see? Oh, there's my iPad. It's a sunset. The Connecticut River is over there. There's actually the boathouse. They're doing a wedding. And this is a beautiful park in the lovely town of Glastonbury, Connecticut. It's a dog park, actually. And there's my little setup right there. <laughs> is that not hilarious? That's how I do um, sitting on the grass. My, my buns are a little wet, but that's okay. And just look at that sky. Okay, so to get back to um, what I was saying to my friend Karen is there are those that go to the temple only when they have a crisis or they're looking for answers. And there are those that go to the temple religiously every week on the same day, just like going to church. And that's, um, so it's different for everybody. Everybody has different, oh, my foot is definitely asleep. That is the worst feeling. I was sitting down too long doing videos. 
Sandy says, hello, I missed most of this. Oh, I know you have both girls. It's awesome. I saw part of your text. I haven't opened the rest yet. <laughs> um, my friend C-A-R-I-R -R says, I was so blessed to be an escort for a little sister, for my little sister, because my parents left the church when I was 18. I was so thankful for that opportunity. What a blessing. What a blessing. Thank you for sharing that. And you know, we're going to keep your parents in our prayers because the doors are always open. Hello from Guana. G uh, Ghana. That's awesome. Wow. I think today is your Sabbath. C O R I N N says, will you ever come to the UK? I know there are a few of us in the LGBT community in the church love to do a temple trip. Well, my best friend Lorraine Wheeler lives in the UK and um, she sends me videos. We send each other little videos back and forth all the time. And if you can arrange with your stake president um, or communications director or stake relief society president, a devotional, I can make it happen. I can come out. I would love to do that. And that's, um, but they have to get permission from my stake president to make sure I'm worthy to, um, <clears throat> to do that devotional. My friend R-A-C-H-E says, out of 650 kids in school, I was the only member. I love following you. You are such an example to many girls. Oh, you are awesome. You are awesome. Sandy, you are awesome. Y'all are awesome. Let's see. Um, our friend J-R-O-B says... First time viewing. Hope you are doing well. We just shared blessings of I was asked to be an escort for a friend of mine who uh, returned to the church after being out for 15 years. So in the temple. So I'm going to be flying to Colorado, but I'll post this full video on my um, on my YouTube channel. And then I have an entire playlist of of um, Instagram lives. Um, our friend, oh, my friend from the UK says, how are you? You're awesome. Um, sh last Sunday we went, she wanted to join and we went live and she shared um, a very raw and powerful uh, journey. And thank you for that. You have been in my prayers. Uh, I'm still working on finding you somebody in Europe, in England. So I haven't forgotten about you. Thank you for reminding me. I need an assistant. <laughs> um, my friend Laurie says, we go twice a month whenever we can schedule it. That's awesome. Well, let's see if I got to... Laurie says, my first guide work was, was in the DC temple. For a lady from Georgia. Well, that's awesome. I love hearing that. Our friend Rachel says, My mom is a temple worker in the... Um, how? What time? Um, oh, in the Nether Netherlands. Wow. I love... Went with my parents to Germany. The Germany temple. And since Holland, my friend Karen has been to the Holland Temple. And I think she's been to the Germany German Temple. Didn't have one. I would sit by the desk since I was young to do baptisms. Oh, that's an awesome story. I love hearing that. Um, well, I think I got to all of your comments. So I pray that you enjoy this beautiful sunset in the park. The view is much better with the sun facing against the trees over here. And right up here, that, tr um, that takes you to Main Street, Glastonbury, which is the center of town. But this is just a little side road that I go on, and it's by the Connecticut River. 
which is a beautiful, it's so beautiful this time of year. I'm so blessed to live here. Well, have an awesome day. I love you. And most importantly, so does in Christ and God. Um, oh, our friend Ted says, Dennis, I'm not a member, but appreciate you and your ministry so much. Brother, I wish more people felt that way. So thank you for sharing that. You don't have to be a member for us to, to if you ever need help or anything, reach out to us. We'd be more than happy to do service and help in any way we can. We, um, You will always be a brother in my eyes. So don't you worry about not being a member. All are welcomed here. And I wish more people felt that way. My friend Karen says... Um, before that temple was built, we had to go to Germany. Before that, it was London. And then our friend, R, uh, I'm sorry, F-R-A-N says, I'm so blessed that we have the privilege to serve the Lord 24 months and returning back from my mission. Oh, wow. I found out that my mom and dad were no more. Oh, I'm so sorry about that, my friend. I'm so sorry. Um, what they were saying was they found out that they're mom and dad, but in England, they pronounce it mum, M-U-M. Um, so, when this, so when this person returned from their mission after 24 months, two years, they found out their parents were inactive. 